everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here. I got a couple things to share with you. Um, the first thing I'm going to share is we talked about uh, this year I'm doing my Rolodex cards for my calendar. This is a calendar that I had last year and these are the two books that I made out of that calendar. Um, these books are made from old greeting cards that I basically put together, sewed into, the, the, um, into a larger greeting card. Okay, so this was a big greeting card. I cut a spine off another one, used that. And these are real nice and heavy. I use the real heavy um, cards for these. If you want to learn how to make this, check up Jenny Belly because she's where I got the inspiration to make these from the um, greeting cards that I received. So anyways, what last year's calendar was is it was a lot of inspirational um, sayings. There wasn't a whole lot of artwork. It was more um, these sayings. So what I did is I decided at the beginning of the year last year, I'm not going to read all of these because there's just way too many, but at the beginning of the year last year, I decided the ones that really said something to me, I would take them and I'd put them in these books and then just do some doodling around it. So I'm just giving you, you know, a look-see at what this book turned out to be. Um, it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed doing this throughout the year. Um, I had fun playing with the doodles. Uh, it was just nice. If I wanted to sit and watch TV at night or something, I would just, you know, bring this and a bag of pens and, and have fun. So, this is the first book that I did. Now, some of these, you can see, don't have a whole lot of doodles on them. Actually, not in this book. Maybe the next book. Um... I would take leftover paint and put it down on these cards. Um, some of the cards were left the way they were. Actually, I think there's a couple in here that were left like that. But this is what the calendar actually looked like. Um, elegance is when the inside and outside are equally beautiful. So this is what it looked like. And then I would just take these sayings and cut them out. Another one. I like that. If you don't like where you are, move on. You're not a tree. <laughs> um, but these are really cool. Smile till your face hurts. This is one of the cards. I just didn't want to get rid of that flower, so I left that there. So like I said, some of them, very few of them, they'll have a little bit of the background of the cards to them. Oh, this one. Laughter is the fireworks of the soul. I thought that was cute. This, apparently, I just decided to stick those down. Never, never, never give up. Hmm. Grass isn't, always, isn't greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. <coughs> Pardon me. Glamour is a state of mind. So, you know, this is just, it's a really cute book to play around in. Um... It's a great way to use up all these quotes, these calendar quotes. Uh, I had fun doing it. Um, you know, I would glue down some just random pieces of paper here and there. This was part of the card. I don't, apparently I didn't want to cover that part up or this one. Um, just some different papers that I put down, different doodles that I played with. Hmm. Don't be average, be awesome. I mean, these are, that was a really cool calendar. It was, it was a cool calendar to play with. Don't ruin a good day because of a bad yesterday. Boy, that's true. Always find a reason to smile. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and read them all because there's just way too many. But I wanted to show you this book. Um, this one is actually completed, so this will go up on my shelf. I've got to put the date on it. I'll do that right now. And 
And I need a different pen because that one didn't work. Okay, so there's this one. Got this little piece of ribbon that was from um, one of the cards and I just left it there. So I don't know if I'll put a closure on it or not. All right, and then this is the second one. <coughs> and again, this is made out of recycled cards. Um, same thing, I just took a couple signatures, a uh, bunch of cards, and this one's a lot looser. S sewed them in. There's the little string, okay? Um, if you can dream it, you can do it. Again, I just used leftover paints. Uh, this one has a di little bit different style. It's got a lot of other stuff stuck down to it. Um, just odds and ends of pieces that... Huh, Aloha, you can never have too much happy. Okay. Hmm. So this one, like I said, this one's a little bit different. Um, I did a lot of uh, pasting stuff in here. Different, you know, pieces and odds and ends and... Not so much doodling. I'll probably keep this one out for a little bit longer and mess around with it. Um, do some doodles on it before I actually put it away on the shelf. Or I may just put it away on the shelf. It all depends. Depends on the mood I'm in. So, <laughs> mirror what you admire. Wake up with determination and go to bed with a sense of satisfaction. Do a little bit of good where you are. It's these those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. So again, this is, you know, made out of old cards um, that I've just sewn together and put a lot of paint on and just played around with. Oops. Live the life you love and love the life you live. Just odds and ends. Keep calm and be positive, happiness, find a blessing and everything. See, toward the end here I haven't done a whole lot of glue and stick. Um, so I may keep this one out a little bit and finish it up. Be stubborn about your goals and flexible about your methods. Okay, so there's that book. So these are the actual two uh, calendar books for 2016. So I wanted to share those with you. Now the other thing I wanted to share with you today is uh, Gina just put a post up, I think it was yesterday, about my, um, she called it glue and stick. And this, this, is, this book here is the actual inspiration that um, gave her this um, idea. I take this, this book usually goes with me whenever I travel somewhere. Um, this is a small junk journal that Gina had made for me oh, a couple of years ago and I decided that it had to be my travel journal and what I do is when I'm on the road um, I've always got to have something creative to do so I have this little bag of scraps that I take with me which is right here um, it's just got all kinds of little die cuts and stickers and and odds and ends pieces of um, stuffs along with this this is the other thing I found this case at Tuesday morning um, and I take this with me when I travel. This has got a bunch of textures and tags in it here. It's got a bunch of washi tape. Um, I have some odds and ends that I can glue on. Sequins and that kind of stuff. This is all fibers, so I can, you know, use whatever. And then here, well, there's the Daniel Smith. I got to keep those out. Um, this is a little journal that I made and threw in here. So this will be, end up being one of my next journals that I do. But in here is just all kinds of randomness. Just random tiny die cut scraps, whatever you, you know, can think of is in here. And it actually holds quite a bit. So I really, I mean, you can see how much it holds. Um, so I really enjoy taking this with me when I go. I'm actually going to put those back in here. That's the new Daniel Smith uh, watercolors. Um, so I take these these two things with me. Well, three things. I take this, my other cuts, and then this little journal. And what I do is, like, if I'm in the hotel room at night or 
um, you know, sitting at breakfast and, you know, we're just chilling out, relaxing, I will start building these pages. Um, I'll do it with some die cuts. You know, sometimes when I'm at home, I'll throw on some extra embossing, or not embossing, um, modeling paste or whatever through a stencil if, if I've got some out and left over. But I start working on this book and I just make these little pieces of art. Um, create. She came out of a magazine page. This is a watercolor, and we can't, Gina and I can't figure out whether she did it or I did it, so, so we're not sure. Um, but, you know, this is one of Gina's paintings. It's just a picture of it. Uh, here's an envelope that I just made this little card for. And then just doodled on the envelope. Um, this came off a packaging, probably either Dina Wakely or um, Dilution's product of some type. So I just took that and put it down and then, you know, did these around it. One of my girls, I drew an owl that's just sitting here that needs more work. And see, these are pages that I'm just starting to build. Um, hmm. Little owl. Did this on the plane. Travel adventure. <laughs> that looks like a big tongue. It's just a splash of something. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It'll it'll turn into something. Love life. This little, I like this little guy. <laughs> I think he's cute. He came out of a National Geographic magazine. And there's a fish down here and it says trust. Because if not, he's going to eat the fish. <laughs> I thought that was cute. <coughs> One of Gina's girls with a... Diane Reevely stamped glasses. This was at Creativation. That's the advertising in the background. Again, this is what I did when I was out in Arizona. Crafting and creativity. As puppy decided to go down. Just start building a page. This came out of a, a cartoon magazine that I had. I really like... Oh, that's the only one. I really like those. They're really cool. Um, these are pieces of... Uh, photos that Gina sent to me a while back and this is a flower from her garden military guy standing there again these pages are just starting to get built piece of plastic I don't know what will end up being on it if anything who knows another page I've started throwing a tag down some just leftovers this kid with his wings and his honey bucket again you know just starting these pages Put that down. Big old boot. Ah, isn't that great? I love these. These are really cool. Again, the startings of pages. These are all startings of pages. That one needs to be done. That one, I have no idea. These came out of a National Geographic magazine along with those. It's an old card. Start of a page. This one here. Here's another one of those cartoons. Got a little zebra here, mouse here, butterfly, um, frog. And this, this background is actually an octopus. You see it? It's, um, again, National Geographic. I cut up and take whatever textures and interesting things I want out of there. This is a tag that Gina had made, Imagine Life. Just so pretty. She embossed it. It's really pretty. So that sits here in this pocket. And then we got this girl started. Not done yet. Started pages. Creativation. Again, that was the advertisement for Creativation. Um, this page is started. These came out of a Flow magazine, I think. Cut that out of another magazine. This one here. <coughs> <clears throat> that is a Diane Reevely stamp head. This is just magazine stuff. Magazine stuff. Um, then I did some journaling around it. Empty. This is the beginning of a page. Um, this came out of a Somerset Studio magazine. I don't know who the original artist is, but what I was thinking about trying to do is maybe finishing up the Zentangles, you know, throughout the rest of the page. We'll see. Depends on where it goes. Proopy dog. I thought that perpy dog looked good there on that page. Um, another National Geographic clipping. Haven't started. Haven't finished. 
a bow, just some doodles on an envelope. I did that while I was on the plane. Out on a limb, started, and the creative journey continues. So I just thought I would show you guys this, um, and that's where the inspiration came from for the, the grab and glue that Gina's doing here, and this is what I told you I would show you with my 2016 calendars. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Leave them in the comments below, and uh, I will be chatting with you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!